Sheep in Hinesville, another test drive Tuesday. This is pretty, and I get to drive it because it's an automatic transmission. This is a 2010 Dodge Charger Rally E. Now, what's really cool about this is that it is very, very sporty. Really muscular looking car, but it's got four doors. Four doors and, oh look, there's a good shot of my purse. Um, as you can see from my purse sitting down here, there's plenty of leg room in the back seat. Why don't we go ahead and fire this This baby is a hot-looking muscle car, and because it's not a stick, Jane can actually get behind the wheel, which is kind of scary because they don't have any helmets or other protection suits available, so I'm going to have to make sure I'm strapped in safely. It, it looks really good. I mean, you've got, you've got the same... Um, You've got this great sort of centralized system that controls your radio and your Bluetooth capability, hands-free phone, and a hard drive and pictures. You've also got all the controls right here on the steering wheel. I just love all this stuff at one touch, you know. Manage your files, your pictures. You are one of those guys that goes into the department store and starts all the baby dolls talking at the same time, aren't you? I like playing with all the little toys. That's what guys want. Not to mention, you know, a cool-looking vehicle. It is a very cool-looking vehicle. This has got the big black stripe down the center of it as, uh, as well. Uh, Scott's going to have to take over the videotaping if I'm going to drive. Here we go, the 2010 Charger Rally E. Ooh, fan is strong. <laughs> I just blew my own hair back. That's pretty awesome. There you go. I am strapped in and ready. Oh, cut it out. Cut it out. I'm sure this car does have some power. It's got a spoiler on the back. It must have some power. That little extra kick. Love the sunroof. It is. It is very nice. Okay, you ready? Here we go. I'll lock the doors. Jen behind the wheel of a sports car. What's wrong with this picture? You shush. You're acting like... I don't know what you're acting like. You've never driven a sports car. That's not true. No. The seats are different. I will say this this is really roomy. It's roomy on the inside. These definitely have sort of sport bucket seats. I'm kind of sitting back a little bit. We'll show a bit of the back here and see how much room you got back here. Actually quite a bit of room in a car of this type, which I wouldn't expect, but I'm quite impressed. All right, I'm trying to figure out how to open the sunroof. Usually there's a little button. Yeah, I'm looking for it. Like there above it here that says open oh, sunroof. there we go. See, the sunroof is up here. I was just... Don't try and act all superior to me. <laughs> You're just mad because I'm driving this but one. You only I'm going to take this down into the neighborhood. And then I'm Jen gonna... drives through the neighborhood. Here's our neighborhood tour today. Took that corner a little fast, didn't we? How does you, it handle? You call me a nervous Nelly. It handles like a lot of... Uh, it, it is a very American car. I would say that... It corners fairly well. Yeah, it corners pretty well. well. At least you're not squealing the tires. Do you want me to? <laughs> no. I, I think the folks at Liberty Jeep Chrysler Dodge would be a little cross with me if I suddenly started, you know, leaving bits of tire behind. The ride is really smooth. It is surprisingly smooth. Gun it! No, I just didn't want to get hit by the truck that was coming. Great panel, got everything at your fingertips. You even got those uh, steering wheel controls. It's like you can control the radio, everything, mm -hmm. from your fingertips. It's magic. 
There we go. Sound system. Rather appropriate song. It's like a music video from the 80s. Look, here, let's get a little hair going. <laughs> Keep your hands to yourself. Life in the fast lane. <laughs> 2010 Charger Rally E. That has some pickup to it. That's really big pickup to it. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, to go from 30 to 60 in a 45 zone. Okay. Let's hope uh, Georgia Highway Patrol doesn't see this. I'm not doing 60. You exaggerate. It sure feels like it. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't feel like it, which is good. How's the handling? It's good. It's uh, it's stiff. It feels a lot like an American sports sedan. You know, it's it's not quite rigid, I'd say, but it's it's. It's tight. Serving Georgia for so would the would, would most ladies like driving this car? I think if it was a lady who liked a lot of uh, responsiveness, that liked a stiff suspension, because it does have a very uh, stiff suspension. You can feel that. It's it's not it's not a squishy ride by any stretch of the imagination. A squishy ride. Why do you always take issue with my word choice? Automatic. Four-speed automatic transmission. V6. So you know you're going to get save some gas. Probably shouldn't charter out of the budget motel. And get pretty good mileage. All right, the test drive Tuesday continues. We just drove this, uh, what was it, cream vanilla color? I actually kind of like <laughs> it's the... It's cool vanilla. Cool vanilla. Cool vanilla. But I like the striping on it. I like the little Hornet on the Super 6. The 2010 Charger. Six cylinder. It's got uh, 3.5 liter high output. V6. It, V6. How was the ride? I thought it rode even with slow. even with me driving. How was the ride? Other than a little rougher on the edges, you did a fairly good job. But the ride was smooth. The shifting seemed to be good. How about? It handled really well. It had a, a fairly stiff suspension. You can definitely tell it is meant to be a sportier kind of car, um, especially the feel of the seats, bucket seats. What is great about it is that it has four doors, so you don't have to sacrifice leg room or bringing your kids around for a sporty ride. So, on a scale of one to five, what would you give it? How many thumbs up? Yeah, it's a big thumbs up.